everybody, today I'm going to show you how to fold a square or rectangle into one third. So, thirds. So let's say we have our square and and we want to split it into, we want to find one third of the square. Like what this thing is. So, well, what we can do is, let me we make our square because it's kind of bad. What we can do is, well first, well we have to get our square. So I'm going to use lines. And then, now that we're done with our square, we're going to, first, you can actually do this by folding. You first connect a diagonal. It doesn't matter which diagonal, but later on it will matter. So let's just assume that we're folding this diagonal. Then you will fold this diagonal, this half, right here. This doesn't look like half, but it is half. And then lastly, you connect this point and you fold it over here, so to the corner, right there. And then we see that this point right here where they intersect, if you fold it over, this point right here, this point in the middle is where your line should go through, and then this is one third of your square or rectangle. You can also do this with a rectangle. So, why does this work? Well, let's go back to our square. So, let's go and make our square nice and good. Okay, and let's say we did those exact folds again. And what we're going to use for this proof is, well, actually, I'm doing it the other way. This is flipped, but you see the same thing. And we're going to use a concept called similar triangles. Now, for those of you who don't don't know what similar triangles are, let's say we have a triangle that looks like this. And then we have another triangle that looks exactly the same, but just is two times smaller, just twice as small as this one. They we would call these two triangles that I just erased, they would be similar triangles because one is twice as big as the other. And so the facts about these triangles, let's say, let's redraw these triangles. And say this one, ah, no. Say this triangle is twice as small as the other one. Okay. Then this one would be tw this side would be twice as long as this side, this side would be twice as long as this side, and this side would be twice as long as this side, and also the heights of the triangles are also the same, are also in a ratio. So this is two times this, and that's going to be very important when we're proving this. So let me just erase this and go back to our diagram right here, and these two triangles right here you may notice are actually similar. Now, some of you may no not notice it immediately, but if you know the AAA triangle similarity theorem, then you know that these two triangles are similar. Now, if you don't know, then what the AAA, AAA triangle similar similarity theorem says is that if two triangles, again, oops, Two triangles again, and what it says is if their angles are all equal, or just at least two of the angles are all equal, then these two triangles have to be similar. And we know this is true because these two triangles, these two angles are equal. Let me just take my point out. These two are equal, and these two are equal, and these two are equal. And you may know why because of if you've gone through geometry that you know these these two are equal and these two are equal and I will not go into further detail about that because that will take too long to explain now what we're going to do is take our line and we're going to a line and we're going to draw it right here and notice that this is the height of this triangle and this is the height of this triangle and what we see is since this is one half Oh, whoops. Since this, 
let me just get to the pen. Since this is one half right here, this whole length right here, just like, right here is one half, and this length is one. Then, this triangle is twice as big as this triangle. And since their altitudes are also in the same ratio, this means this is twice as long as this. And assuming that is true, let's just say that the height of this guy is 2x. And that means the height of this triangle is x. So we can solve for x because we already know that the side of the, uh, I mean, of the square is 1. Which means that 2x plus x equals 1, which is 3x equals, sorry, 1, and therefore x is 1 third. And that means that this line right here, this line that we draw right through here, since we know that x is 1 third, therefore this must be 1 third and we're done. So that's pretty cool. And it's a really cool way to find 1 third of a square or a rectangle. Even though we haven't proved how to do it with a rectangle, you can go and use the same method and also prove how to do it from a rectangle. So now that we've got that cleared up, I will leave it to you to find out how to find one fifth, which might be in another video. And just make sure to check out my channel for other videos. And I might do one about finding one fifth about a square in a later video. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed.